Good morning. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 11.20 in the morning on Friday, September 8th, 2023. 11.20 in the morning on Friday, September 8th, 2023. And we just got the uh, earthquake that we were forecasting for Northern California. And here it is, 5.0 earthquake right here. Um, north of San Francisco, we thought it would hit more in the northwest part of California, hit more in the north part, but still in the warning area. You can see the map uh, right here. And that quake hit, let's see, right, right there in, right along the 80% there, but pretty much, let's see, once again here. Yeah, it's right in about the 90% risk area there. But in that general um, warning area, we had forecasted a 5.0 earthquake. And the risk, and you can see the graph here, peaked at around 2 in the morning on the 7th. So we were expecting it about 2 in the morning on the 7th. So it hit about 32 hours late. But as you can see in the graph, the risk still continues into the 8th on this very strong peak here from the 7th into the 8th of September. So we got our quake. Uh, it was right uh, here, 5.0 earthquake, exactly as we forecasted for this uh, on this peak here and in the right correct location again. So we've been forecasting uh, many of the uh, significant quakes during the last few months in the correct spots and very close to the right magnitude. And this one hit exactly at uh, 5.0, exactly as we forecasted. Now coming up in uh, Japan, a strong earthquake, about a 5.4 is likely, either in uh, the Morioka Sendai area here in the northeast, or the risk is pretty high uh, west of Tokyo as well, down to uh, Osaka and uh, southwest of Osaka. Uh, in this area here, Kochi, I believe, is right there. So uh, either of these hot spots here, a 5.4 earthquake, and you can see the risk level goes up right here on the magnitude. This is the magnitude on the top, and then this is the risk percentage on here on the bottom. But from late in the 11th and 12th in the morning is when this quake should hit September 11th, late in the day, or September 12th, early in the morning, right there in uh, either northeast Japan, 5.4, or in this uh, high-risk area in the south. So be aware that in Japan and Italy, a 5.0 is possible in the north slash northwest area of Italy or in the northern part of Algeria on September 9th into the 10th. And you can see this very strong peak right here, late on the 9th into the 10th. Alaska, we're beginning to uh, collect data for a uh, risk map in that area as well. Again, we forecasted a 5.0 earthquake to hit in Northwest California. It hit 32 hours late. It should have been around two in the morning, as you can see in the graph right here, about two in the morning on the 7th. And, uh, but it hit about 32 hours late on this other extension of the high risk level here uh, in as we expected. So stay tuned again. Uh, here to quakeprediction.com, <clears throat> excuse me, 263,000 followers and 18 years of research. We have finally found out exactly what to do and how to, for the, the big quakes are actually easier than the smaller quakes. So uh, any strong quake that's going to hit California, Japan, uh, or Italy, we will forecast it for you and we'll be expanding to other countries as well. But we've found out how to forecast uh, quakes and their magnitude, so stay tuned. Uh, history is in the making here at quakeprediction.com. Again, 263,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it. And uh, research since uh, 2005, so almost 20 years of research. Thanks again, and we will talk to you soon.